together. So, and here's, here's the other thing. Pastor Rick taught me something, and youth have taught me something, that uh, every message needs some good props. And here's the thing about props. It's not uh, Humphrey, the donkey, which I was like, of course he would bring a donkey in, like, a, a week before. What? Of course. Like, I will never outdo him with the props. Like, he is just, he's a master. I am not. I'll get there maybe one day. But, uh, so balloons, balloons, balloons. So I got a couple balloons here. And what I love about balloons is, man, they bring a different vibe to the room. They bring something that's unique. They bring something that's fun. They, bring, they change the atmosphere of the, uh, of, of the environment. Every good birthday party has balloons. It's just something that I've learned over the time, especially with throwing birthdays for my boys. But here's the thing that I also realized is not every balloon is created equal. And so, ooh, it's kind of embarrassing. Not every, okay, not every balloon can really stand up or pop back up. Not every balloon can really even uh, have the ability to, to lift other things. Some are just kind of always down on the ground. Now, I don't know if there's any like science majors or anything like that in the room, but there is a difference between it. And here's the thing, it's, it's not that one balloon ha has a better job than the other balloon. It's not that one balloon uh, just never got knocked down. It's not that one balloon never had a, a, had a hard thing or anything like that. It's not that one balloon had a supportive spouse and the other one didn't. It's not that one balloon was really encouraged by their boss and the other one was. And it, it, they're both in the same environment, same room, and everything. And yet one stays up. And the other one drops. All right. Pop quiz. What is the difference? What's inside? Helium is what's inside. And so for us, uh, we look at this, it's like, oh, it's what's inside that makes the difference. And it's not the environment that it's in. It's what's inside. And as we talk today, I want to talk about this idea of mental health. I want to talk to you about this idea of of living the best life that God's created us for. Living the best life that God's created us for, and a lot of that has to do not with the outside circumstances. Oh, well, if I had that job, well, if I lived there, if I had that family, if I had whatever it is, fill in the blank, if I had that, it would be different. But the circumstances aren't what, what cause us to live the best life. It's rather what's inside. What's inside of us is what makes the difference. And so we see even with balloons that I kind of relate more with the one that's filled with hot air. As you can tell, I'm full of hot air. And so there's, there's this difference that some, way, some thoughts and some of our own thinking weigh us down while the other lifts us up and keeps us motivated, keeps us up. Scripture says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Um, but there's one of these things that I realize that something that steals my joy more often than not, is this idea of bitterness. And bitterness for me, and I'm, I'm kind of just going to preach to myself, and you guys feel free to listen in. Bitterness for me is, is often caused by unforgiveness, by this ability to hold a grudge, by this ability to, to look at others and judge them for the way that they are, are looking at me. And so today my hope is that we'll leave with this perspective shift of whatever our current situation is, the reality is we probably can't change the situation. You can't always change your family. You can't always change your job. You can't always change the circumstance and the situation that you're in, but you can change what's inside of you to cause you to rise back up when you get knocked down.